Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel as our journey began last episode with Reen Schwarzer entering Thor's Military Academy as a member of the newly formed Class 7 instructed by Sarah Valestein. With the nature of the class a mystery, the nine students selected are dropped into a pit as they begin a special orienteering exercise with weapons and the newly developed Arcus ordnance in hand. Reen, Elliot and Gaius now team up to explore the dungeon. You can change the character leading the party in the camp menu or on the field map by pressing the L1 button. In addition, you can use the tactics section of the camp menu to change the party order as well as your battle formation. I imagine the formation will be set up just fine for the start. In count types, you can press the X button to attack enemies on the field. An attack from the front will cause an enemy to pause briefly, but if you land an attack from behind, the enemy will be stunned for a set time or even faint. If the attack's weapon type is effective against them. Okay, so you've got to actually choose which, which leader you have on the, the map to work on this advantage basis. So you get triple advantage, walk into a fainted enemy, confers the same bonus as double advantage, all enemies also take damage. I should start from the bottom then by the sound of it. Enemy advantages, of course, enemy attack first party owner information are changed and all combat links are severed. That's interesting. Standards, no handicap bonus. Advantage, allies take the turns earlier than the ordinary would, as I understand from preemptive attacks. Double advantage, confers the same bonus as advantage. Each ally also gains 10 CP for walking into a stunned enemy. And to walk into a fainted enemies, you get double advantage and damage extra two. So you always want to go for that, really. I wonder what will be the best thing to have. Well, let's go on with the bottle open the blade. Oh, yikes! A monster! Huh. Never seen this kind before. Looks like a flying feline. Careful, everyone. And that's how skits should be done, too. That's cool. Painted. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Triple advantage. Active combatants each take action on their turn. After doing so, the alloy enemy below them on the battle order bar takes their turn. The character at the top of the bar takes their turn first after acting. Yeah, let's just said that. Let's just said that above. Turn bonuses. In battle, there are a variety of bonuses that can appear on different turns. Okay, so HP heal, 10%, 50%, EP, CP, critical step if zero arts. Arts can be cast for any casting, any casting time, or EP consumption. Oh. That's a cool one. Tax and crafts will also always unbalance on a critical by the look of it. Uh, how do I link up with people? Because that was a thing we obviously saw in the uh, the, pa the future past, whatever. Selecting the attack command will display that character's movement and attack ranges. Out circle attack range, movement range as well, and see inner circle. If you select an enemy outside the character's attack range, the character will not attack, only moving to where a thing is displayed. Well, let's take on the flying feline first. Poor kitty. <laughs> By dealing and receiving damage, you will gain CP, craft points. You can use these points to perform crafts. Craft special combat use skills unique to each character. New crafts are gained by leveling up. Hmm. Oh, have I, you not actually got your thing set yet? That's a good thing to think about, actually. Maybe he hasn't. The others have it set, but maybe he doesn't. Well, we are continuing to attack because of our ridiculous advantage at the moment. And I managed to take that one out at the very least. Let's just build up our CP with range staff based attacks. Leave it to me. I use our pole on to finish it off. Oh. Double kitty kick. How dare you, kitty. Let's go check our orbits oh, after that. Did it. Ah, first battle one. Red Beast Flesh 2. Thank you for the cheers, by the way. Peter Please calling Please tell me there aren't more of those things lurking around here. I hate to tell you, but I can sense more further in. Anyway, let's just stay alert. You can now view the Active Voice and Monster Guide tabs of your notebook. The Active Voice record lists the last 50 Active Voice lines heard, allowing you to reread them or listen to them again. Also, even if I miss stuff. A monster guide automatically records information on monster you fought, serving as a valuable reference. Both can be accessed by the touchpad button or by choosing note and selecting the relevant tab in the cat menu. Fighting a given type of enemy gradually unlocks information about them. The battle scope item, as well as certain arts and crafts, can unlock all information at once. Sounds like I'd like that kind of stuff. Let's check the ornaments of the other guys, make sure they've actually got it slotted. They do. So he's got Cannon, War Elemental, Master Quartz, Increased Potency of Healing Arts, so healer to start off with. And we got Win Elemental, Master Quartz, Gain Insight Status. 
And he's also got another... No, he hasn't got another one unlocked. His first one there is a wind gem too. So he's just got airstrike for the moment. Oh, wait a second. Is that... Breakables. Water step if times five. Okay. This attack isn't just for just wailing away at enemies then. Oh, hello, red treasure chest. <laughs> Nothing bad will ever come from you. Oh, lots of sepith. Hey, Ryan, I can see something up those stairs to the right. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Let's go check it out. Ha 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 you would. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> I just wanted to check what's down there. I know the bad things are coming. Oh, hello, red treasure chest. I don't like this. Oh, a treasure chest! Yes, but don't be excited about it. Or any bad things lying, red treasure chests. Oh, okay, needle shot. <laughs> this looks like another quartz. So we can just set this into our Arcus units. Most likely, let's give it a try. There are several varieties of quartz that can be used with Arcus Ordnance. So, quartz that enables you to use specific arts like Aqua Bleed or Fire Bolt. Uh, quartz that increases your stats, HP 1 and Evade, etc. So, you get actually quartz that just give you the ability, not just a totaling up, adding up number. Example 3 quartz with multiple functions. Heal, recover HP walking around, enables you to use the tier and tier arts. Mostly rare quartz for those ones. So, quartz function differently too. So what course did I just get? Oh, I need to go to that one. Needle shot. Launches a sharply pointed boulder at an enemy. To be honest, I'm going to give it to anyone, considering you seem to be Mr. Spellcaster, and you have the most DP. I'll give that to you. Petrify 20% too? Doesn't seem to have really changed much there, but it'll be interesting to see what the line actually does and if we can build it up in that sense. It's also interesting that we get ones that give us very specific arts. Is that? It looks like an augment charging station. Augment charging stations like this are often found left behind by some kindly explorer in particularly dangerous areas. If you encounter one, walk up to it and press the X button and select rest to restore the HP and EP of all party members. This could be lifesaver if we find ourselves flagging after a tough battle. Yeah, we should come back here and rest if we need to, just be on the safe side. <gasps> Chests don't have dialogue anymore. It's not like I spoke to every chest in the game before. I guess because that button has now been changed for slicing. It now won't tell me I'm a thief. Maybe I prefer it that way. I don't like being told I'm a bad guy. It may have been something that XE did not fit Neon Falcon, but saying that otherwise... Oh, hello, monster. This is XC game as well. I don't think physical attacks are going to be very effective against that monster. I mean, you're right. We'll need to rely on arts this time. Got it. Actually, attack of my orbital staff is basically the same effect as an arc, just without any casting time. Oh, interesting. So if worst comes to worst, I should just be able to run up and smack it. Oh, really? I can see that thing coming real handy. Well, we're counting on you to lead the charge then. <laughs> Here goes nothing. So is this where I want to, like, change the leader? And won't it in the back of the head. <laughs> the wind's behind us. Let's go. All right, we got a double advantage. Arts are a kind of magic which require an ornament to use. They can be used by setting a quartz or master quartz into an ornament. Arts require time to cast, and that's why I couldn't use it before because I wanted to do tutorial and see if EP when used. Attack arts, especially effective against enemies with high evasion or resistance to physical attacks, and support arts are used to buff, heal, and augment allies. This shows how effective arts of each element will be against any enemy. Seems like fire is best against these guys then. Discover which elements an enemy is quick or weak against to finish them off quickly. Wind arts will deal only 80% of their normal damage. Sure. Earth does a little bit more though. My turn! Well. The question comes. <sighs> how fast do things die? Uh, so wind will only do 80%. And I can't buff or anything. Do I bother? Argus, 
Why not? So, Earth will do a little bit more on top of that. Okay, that one shot him. Take this. And that one shot too. Right, uh, I'm just wondering if we can actually not hit these guys. Oh, he only does it's one. My turn. Get him! There. For the 22. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I attack with you, will I actually do enough damage? Because it works like a. Yep. All right, let's keep going. Save my EP that way, eh? They're slimes, but yeah, they are the most interesting slimes I've ever seen. I'm starting to lose my sense of direction down here. Yeah, gotta make sure we're not going in circles. Sorry, everything about the active voice system is brilliant. It gives you a notification of when they're actually going to talk. So I can shut up. It's amazing. Hello. Uh, I'm guessing spears might be best against you then. Or something will tell me something of that point at this point. At least changing leader isn't that hard to do. Yep. An insectoid monster, huh? Looks like that shell can take a real beating. Might be pretty tough to take it down. Agreed. We need to keep our wits against this <laughs> about us against this one. We should probably give it everything we've got, arts and crafts included, and see what works best. Well, first of all, run in and slash it in the butt. Ah! Okay. We want to slash you in the butt. We want advantages at all times. Enemies ahead! We'll have to fight! That's a lot of guys. This shows how likely an enemy is to be afflicted with particular status ailments, too. So is this for these guys or for the slime guys? Efficacy only represents how likely a status element is to work on an enemy. It does not affect that element's duration or potency. That's a lot of guys. Half is likely to be effective 10 to 5%. Okay. That's poison, which is the 50. Okay. Standard efficacy is fine to 100. 1.5 times is likely to be effective 10%. 15%. So it's based on whatever percentage you're currently attacking with or what your percentage is. Then you add on... The multiplication fact after that. Ineffective too. Oh, here we go. Poison seal, mute, blind, sleep, burn, freeze. Burn is new? Okay. Burn I haven't seen before. Confused, death, blow, nightmare. Afflicts the type of sleep and bestows a random status element when they awaken. So does that... Do you have to get it with a mint drop rather than just the thing that cures sleep? Which is mint drop anyway. So that means you get to double heal on that one. Oh, delay, vanish. Vanish temporarily removes the afflicted from the battlefield and reduces their EP to zero. Cure time. Balance down is time. Link break is time. Insight. Increases accuracy in EVA by 50% and renders the imbue 10% more likely to unbalance a foe. HP regen again time. Physical immunity. Art reflect. Reflects the next magic attack received. Nullifies the next physical attack received. That's just some... Crazy statuses here. I'm a bit worried about the amount of them there is. Not like we have any AOE arts after all. And they got to attack first or some kind of silly like that? Here we go. Just questioning, what is your S-Craft? You don't have one yet. I mean, at least you do have like this, so that's not too bad. Leave it to me. I really need to figure out what is best versus you. That's a lot of guys, though. Fire is best. It's not like we can f do a mass fire attack, though, is it? I should probably hit these four. Try to take care of a group of them. The only problem is Leon is basically in the middle of every monster. And every monster gets to have a go in the next billion turns. Activate. I was expecting to go for Rian, but the counters are going to help. Come on. Huh. Thanks. Tear heals a lot more. Oh, keep missing. They seem to have a statistic that makes them 
victimize we someone. Go. Okay, we've got ourselves. I mean, Fireball only attacks one target, so of course we're going to keep going with Crass. So I want to hit as many people as possible with this critical. There. That worked. They're just not very good at hitting it me. To me. All right, these these foes. What are their specifics currently? Literally just fire. Nothing else I can really do. Let's just keep using our crafts and bust through as many guys as we can every time. Right. And what's your craft? So resounding beat boosts defensive lives by twenty percent and heals three percent HP every turn. What? Isn't that really good? Give it up, everyone! Here we go! Well, I'm gonna heal up tons now. Is there really much point in using a craft on this tent? I mean, we've still got a load of CP, and it's not like we can use a break. There! Right, just uh, pretty much two guys left. There. He's sealed. My turn. And that's the job done. Oh, we did it. Tactical bonus: double kill, triple counter, and overkill. We get total experience times 1.9 for getting these modifiers. So that's not too bad. Shit in the shell and an S tablet, whatever that is. That was a lot of bugs. <sighs> Elliot, are you okay? I don't see any obvious injuries. I I'm okay. I was just so relieved the fight was over. The strength kind of just left my legs. I'm amazed how calm you two are. You don't seem tired or worried or anything. I guess I'm just used to fighting monsters like these. You need a hand? N no, I'll be fine. It was just a momentary lapse on my part. I can get up. There we go. Look out. Elliot! What? No! What? Ow! Looks like I made it just in time. Heck, adios for that. He's got a shotgun! Oh, it's you! You said your name was Machius, right? That's right. I came to realize that I shouldn't have just stormed off like I did. I let that arrogant noble goad me into losing my composure, acting on impulse. So I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I acted foolishly and I hope you can forgive me for it. A sweat. Water under the bridge. Yeah, we all have moments when we say or do things we regret. That's human nature for you. Oh, and thanks for saving me, by the way. I'm just glad I happened to be passing by. After I'd cooled my head, I decided to retrace my steps, and there you were. Is it just the three of you here? Yeah, we stood around talking for a while, so the others are probably ahead of us at this point. I don't think there's any reason to go back any farther. I can't imagine you'll find anyone there. I see. Uh, I... I don't suppose you'd mind if I came with you, would you? I'm reasonably skilled with a gun, so you might find it useful having me along. Sure thing. Welcome aboard. The name's Reen Schwarzer. I'm Elliot Craig. It's nice to meet you. My name is Guy Warzel. It's a pleasure. The pleasure's mine, I assure you. My name is Machius Regnitz. Could... Could I ask you what social class you each belong to? I realize how that must sound, considering my recent outburst. But please, don't take it personally. I'm simply curious to know who I'm associating with. 
Um, well, both of my parents are commoners. Likewise. Though my homeland has no class system to begin with. Ah, so you're from abroad then? What about you, Reen? Well... Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. So I guess we're all in equal standing here. Well, now that's a relief. We should probably get moving then. Somewhat concerned about the girls, as you might imagine. I'd feel much better if we were around to help if they wound up in danger. Yeah, I suppose there's strength in numbers. All right, let's go. He may have a shotgun, but he's also ended up with the, all the character flaws. Machias has joined the party. You can expand the minimap by pressing the options button. This allows you to view the area's topography as well as your location and locations of enemies. Wait, what, you see the enemies? Boink. What? I can. It's an enemy that's respawned on the way back there, in fact. Interesting. Oh, is there a... That's not a way to scroll up or down, because it's not showing me the treasure chest in that little corner after where I got the uh, course. Oh, then come on, Maclis. Let's go forward. Oh, what spells do you have, by the way? You just have the power of shotgun. Irons, you're an Earth Elemental guy. Earth Elemental Master Quartz obtains a significant defense ADF bonus. Now, if I were to give him the... Let's just move that. If I were to give you this, would you gain anything extra? Or you can't put it in. What slot is that one? I don't know. Why can you not get that in there? You can. Because he's already got needle shot, right? That's probably why. Yes, that's it. So we can't have ones that he's already got double of an ability of. Okay. Even though it's a different court, he can't have it. What's a place like this even doing on the school grounds? Yeah, who puts a giant trap door in a campus building? Sadis, that's who. Oh, another enemy stands in front of us, another gigantic bug. Double advantage I'll take. Wins behind us. Let's go. Wow, go. It's a lot of guys again. Alright, how many can I get in one attack? There! And I do get to go twice after all. I was about to say, can his attack hit multiple opponents because it goes in a weird line? That's cool. It's my turn. Let's take out these two. Maybe I can hit another one in there as well. Do I hit the close one or the far one? I guess the close one's taking damage. I'm sure, I'm gaining more CP than I'm ever using at this point. Right, gun boy. Oh, you've got rain. Yes, you've got the area of effect attack. That's cool. Break shot. Attack one. Impede. Defense minus 25%. Fires an arm, pissing around, and balance 20% chance. Technically, then, if we just fire with you normally, that's great on a, a boss or something. Oh, wow. We even got him from that. Okay. Anyone else I can do that cool line shot with? Doesn't look like it, does it? Nope. Couldn't reach. Go. In the meantime, I may as well just get some damage on some more. As long as I'm AOEing multiple, I'm getting good stuff after all. So if I just choose to attack that guy, I probably will hit the other bug. Yep. Pure buckshot. It's my turn. Oh, I couldn't hit three there. Oh my god, is there like, is it like, minuscule moments could and couldn't? That's weird. Okay, there's going to be some incredibly tight placement then by the feel of it. My turn. Too bad I can get just a straight counter on him. It's my turn. I think you might need to tear yourself my at this turn. point. It's Definitely arts are better versus them, that's for sure. Go. 
Uh, 10% HP heal, you miss, which causes a counter, so you're dead. And that should finish the job. That's that. Let's keep moving. Oh, we even got some level ups. And Mackie has already came at level four, in fact, so lucky lucky him. Great! <laughs> you even see their stat increases. Ah! Something I hope you wanted to see Trails of the Sky, knowing exactly what a level All up gives right. us. It's quite a big HP boost. Nice. Now we can see their stats too. Alright, let's keep on going on. It's one of the cat birds again. Cat birds? That's not what they are. I need you to still facing the other way for a while, cat bird. Should be able to run away to reorientate myself, uh, he says. I really missed. No luck. We still need more information on the flying felines. I'm wondering it's if my, my turn. buck shot will just be enough to hit the other one too. Yeah. It's my turn. There. Good miss. Go. Okay, it's safe for now. Battles are so much fun stuff. And everyone poses in the best way they can. Alright, we nearly ran into another enemy when we were doing that. So, should I change leader again? To force a better hit through? Now's our chance. We can do this. Double Go. advantage. That will always help us out a bit more. So, they're weak to fire, aren't they? So that will definitely kill that guy. Uh, we could just take it easy on the other one. My turn. How do well do shotguns do? Yeah. Eight damage. Huh. I even got my EP back. That's that. Let's keep moving. Is there a simple button for just switching players then? <laughs> Rather than having to go in the main menu every time? EP charge one. See, I want to get them from behind every time, but how far are they going to chase? That's a triple. Wait, behind us. Let's go. My turn. Ooh, we got a critical coming up. There. I don't think there's anything I can really use that on too well, unless. Oh my goodness! Yeah, cool. <laughs> My turn. It's a scatter gun. It's just normal attack is great too. What the hell? I think it did, but I, was, I think the tutorial right. is just L1, is it? Ah, oh, thank you. I am a fool. I forget these things easily. I've already got seal on the first two. I'm just kind of like, how does this not hit the one in front? How does that not hit the one in front? It's directly in the path, you know? Right. I should use my art there, but that takes care of them. Not a problem. I just try to go through the entire game getting at least some form of advantage, eh? That's the dream. We meet again. <sighs> Good to see you guys are hanging in there. I'm glad the four of you are unharmed as well. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit at least. <sighs> yes, I've calmed down now. At any rate, I don't believe I've introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Laura S. Arsaid from the town of Legram. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Huh. Legram? That's down on the southeastern outskirts of the Empire, isn't it? Correct. It's an old castle town on the shores of Lake Ebel. We're connected to the rest of the country by train, but other than that, it's a fairly remote region. Hmm. That name sounds so familiar. Wait. 
So your father would be... Yes, my father is Viscount Arsade, Lord of Lagram. Do you take issue with that? No, not at all. <laughs> Machias, was it? I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios' eyes. And I fully believe the same to be true of my father. Uh, please, I meant no offense. I'm sorry if... if I... Uh, say, I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Emma Milstein. Like Laura, I come from a distant region of the Empire. I was only able to attend Thor's thanks to a scholarship, in fact. It's very nice to meet you. A scholarship? Hmm, indeed. Now that you mention it, our instructor did say yours was the top score on the entrance exam. <sighs> to think I was outdone, then. By a girl, no less. <laughs> you must be quite the prodigy. <laughs> Maybe it seems like it now, but really, I'm not. I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so this is the weapon they recommended for me. Oh, cool! You got an orbal staff too. Yours looks different from mine, though. Huh, so it does. I wonder if it's just cosmetic. Oh. We don't, we're not top voice in this bit? I really need to clear things up with her. What do I say? Hmm? Is something the matter? We're all acquainted now. It's only proper that you introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm Lisa R. from Ruwer. It's a pleasure to meet almost all of you. Uh, Elisa. Ruer, huh? What's it like living there? There's probably a new technological breakthrough every week. The Rhineford Company's based in Ruer, and they're the largest heavy industry corporation on the continent, aren't they? I suppose they are. Uh, so, hey. I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with you when we first met, right? I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? There is, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Ouch. Um, yeah. Anyone got any ideas on what to do now? We've all run into each other wandering around. How about we stick together? I think that would be for the best. It's not safe for a group of girls to travel alone. You may require protect- You needn't be concerned about that. I beg your pardon? I don't mean to boast, but I'm confident my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. For now, I think it's best to remain in separate groups. There are still two of us who remain unaccounted for. That's right. We still haven't run into that silver-haired girl. In that case, two teams means double the chance to find them. Two teams is double the coverage, and double the chance of crossing paths with our missing companions. How's that sound? I have no objections. So then, shall we be off? All right. We'll see the four of you later then. <sighs> she really doesn't seem like she's gonna let that go, does she? It was clearly an accident, everyone could see that. But I don't suppose it makes any difference to her. Still, is no one else worried about leaving a group of girls to fend for themselves in a place like this? There are four of us here. Perhaps one of us should go follow them. I don't think we have anything to worry about as long as Laura's with them. She really wears her skill on her sleeve. I doubt she drags around a sword that big just for show. It's certainly an enormous blade. I'd call it comically huge if it didn't look so dangerous. But at the end of the day, a lady is a lady. She's taller and sturdier than I am. Though I admit it's still hard to believe anyone could swing that beast of a sword. I'll bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. The 
The Arcite School of Swordsmanship serves as a general basis for the techniques used by knights throughout the Empire. And her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. People call him the Radiant Blade Master. I doubt any of the other students here could even stand their ground against her in combat, much less beat her. Wow. Interesting. I didn't know there were still roots of the old knightly styles alive in the Empire. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Reen. A hobby of yours? I'm a swordsman myself. I guess the lore sort of comes with the territory. At any rate, how about we pick up the search? I'm worried about that silver-haired girl. And we still need to track down Duke Alborea's son, too. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't care less what happens to that pompous ass. He can rot down here. <laughs> Come on now, that's no way to treat someone you just met. Yes, it is no way to treat it. Looks like the path splits. Which way do you think we should go? I feel a little wind blowing from the east. I bet the exit's that way. So you're saying go west then? Which is west? North, east, treaded wheat. West then. Plus, the girls went that way, so they've got it covered, right? The wind's behind us. Let's go. Triple advantage, I'll go. take it. That should give us more than enough time to beat the crap out of them. Alright. Well, the lowest amount of cost possible. It's my turn. Eat that. I was wondering my if turn. guns would do extra damage against the flying foe. Okay, it's safe for now. I'll always take that unscathed bonus, that's for sure. But it seems like getting multiple kills at once is the best way for me to get huh. higher modifiers. There seems to be a treasure chest here. That was the wrong way, though. <laughs> well, we checked out this side. We went the opposite way for good old reasons. I save again. Always save before the red chest of doom, right? Now, will there be an enemy within this time? Hello, red chest! Just a tear chest. Nice. I'll take that, thank you. Maybe, maybe not. There's no chest monsters. <laughs> maybe I'll get suitably lulled into a false sense of security until there are suddenly chest monsters. <laughs> Sounds like me, doesn't it? Well, let's get out there. Tear of the enemy not in the chest anymore, yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Ah, don't look at me, slime boy. You'll never catch me. I'm around the corner again. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Now's our chance. We can do this. Ooh, Go. Zero arts. Yes, sir. That's one. My turn. Right. All right, let's keep going. Just even the uh, level up there to level four has given me enough power to just pump, like, just spike through them in no time at all. Good old Craig here. What's wrong? M more monsters? No, not monsters. It's... <laughs> You're pretty sharp. Oh. It's the silver-haired girl. I'm glad to see you all right. Though, it looks like there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Nope. I'm small and quick. These things can't lay a finger on me. Oh yeah, Fee Clausel. That's my name. You're just over halfway through. Keep it up. Later. Hey, wait! Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? I'll be fine. I'm used to this. See you at the end. What 
just happened? Wow. She certainly wasn't fibbing about being quick on her feet. I guess we really don't need to worry about her. Yeah, now I'm more convinced than ever that she knows exactly what she's doing. Just over halfway through? Has she already been to the exit and then come back? I think that's what's implied. Is, is Yane's uh, <sighs> voice going to be the new, uh, the new Rex scream? Sounds a bit... Like they took one soundbite and didn't take a bit... They should, they should have taken more. <laughs> is what I feel was missing there. Now's our chance. We can do this. All right, four flyers. We've got double advantage, so we've got the time to just All right. bust them down if we want to. Of course, we've got no S crass or anything, so may as well just use crass what I like. Otherwise, those CP is right. basically not meaning anything for me, isn't it? Uh, let's just use the resounding beat here. Give it up, everyone! Just to make sure everyone's HP is topped up. It's my turn. You can attack both of them, surely? Or probably just one by the look of it. Yeah, they're not near enough. My turn. I guess I should get rid of you. Leave it so to me. many turns before they even get an attack after all. Leave it to me. Okay, you hit him while you can. Their basic crafts, their All buffs right, and skills are really, really good. Well, right, level up for Machias. An A plus outcome. Not an A plus personality though. Right. It's my turn. There. Oh, she does two attacks. There. Right. I feel like I'm playing Resi now. Oh, not go. you. My turn. We need to go back. We must go back. Now's our chance. Here we go. Uh, normal art will be good. One fireball takes them out after Office. all. Activate. Leave it to me. Let's get everyone else on you. Leave it to me. Eat that. Oh, I'm just barge straight through him now. And step it up. Good old fireball. Okay, it's safe for now. How much extra seconds does that even give me in this one? One more battle for another level for the rest of the fight. It's basically showing that everyone's who got everyone who's gone off on their own is really good. It's what it's basically showing us. It's Be a lone turn. wolf. Do you hear that? Someone's fighting up ahead. Come on. Uh, Rain! Wait for me! Incredible. That was really something. Judging by that display, I don't think he needs any help from us. I take it that's another school of imperial swordsmanship? Right. That's court fencing, an agile style favored by the nobility. And judging by his poise, he's no amateur. you need something? <sighs> Sorry, I was just admiring your swordsmanship. I'm Reen Schwarzer. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself earlier. I I'm Elliot Craig. Guy Schwarzel, nice to meet you. I believe I have already introduced myself, but once again, I'm Yusis Alborea. And I have to say, I didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. What are you talking about? After all that bluster about finding your way to the exit alone, I wasn't expecting you to actually rely on others for help. I assume you came to your senses shortly after you stormed off, and then wandered back to apologize like a good boy. 
truly the virtue of the common man. Why, a preening noble such as myself would be far too proud to do such a thing. What the hell is your problem? You nobles really are all the same. So full of yourselves, it's a wonder you don't pop. And you're not just a garden variety noble either. House Alborea is one of the highest ranking in the country. I'll bet you just love looking down on us less fortunate souls, don't you? You're one to talk. I don't need a lecture in rank from the son of the Imperial Governor. Wait, what? Oh, I thought the name Regnitz sounded familiar. Karl Regnitz, the first commoner ever to hold the seat of Imperial Governor in Heimdall. The first to rule the capital. And this headstrong young lad just so happens to be a chip off that old block. Pretty rarefied air for a simple commoner, don't you think? What does that have to do with anything? Yes, my father is the Imperial Governor, but he earned that position through years of hard, honest work. Don't you go lumping him in with you nepotists who get your titles handed to you just for being born. Perish the thought. No, I mainly just regard your father as a reformist and a close friend of the Chancellor at that. <sighs> and as you're vividly aware, his faction is in conflict with the noble faction, led by none other than the four great houses. When you look at it that way, your vitriolic disdain for the nobility suddenly seems rather cheap, wouldn't you say? You, you son of a... M Magius, don't do it! Oh, what? I can stop him or reprimand Juicis? I mean, I don't want them to fight whatsoever. Why do I get a choice here? I just want to stop Magius. There's no reason to fight at this point in time. I mean, if I reprimand Juicis, I mean, they... He has a point. I'll stop Machias for now. Most important choice in the game, oh yeah. I'm gonna stop Machias. I feel like they can sort this with words if they're just sat on a table, get him a drink, sit down, be a mediator, violence we don't need. God. I know he's taunting you, but lashing out at him isn't going to solve anything. And you, sis. Don't you think that was a little uncalled for? I wasn't the one who started this. Let me... Damn it, just let me go already! I'm sorry, okay? Just... Leave me alone for a while. You guys should just go on ahead with him. Oh. I think you went a little too far, Yusis. Being at odds with Machias is one thing, but tracking his father into it is pretty low. You're better than that. <sighs> Perhaps I was a bit out of line. It would seem I still have much to learn. Uh-huh. You look shocked. Why? W well you're the son of Duke Alborea, right? I wasn't expecting the son of a noble to admit he was ro- Ah, uh, wait, no, that came out wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> There's no need to address me so formally. We may come from different social spheres, but here at this academy, we're supposed to be on equal standing. Or so the idea goes, anyway. Y yeah, that's true. I, I mean, yes, I'm with you all the way there. <sighs> is class really that big a deal here in the Empire? It is. This country has a long history, and the class system has been one of its central institutions for most of that. So what are you going to do, Yusis? Maki is said to go with you, but I don't want to press you into coming along if you don't want to. I was intending to press on to the exit by myself, but I'd prefer not to mimic the actions of his ilk, so I'll accompany you. Wh what? I I'm just surprised we're worthy of your company. I, I mean, I'm looking forward to having you on the team. Let's just go with that. We should get moving then. Come on. He's just someone who got attacked to begin with, verbally, and then found an easy target to bait back and have a little fun, it feels like. I don't know. Mike has left the party and Juicis has joined in his stead. Well, hello, Juicis. What's your augment, though? Mistral, another win user. Win elemental mass courts, get, obtain a significant ATS bonus. 
also, you have another one in here. Golden Sphere. Attacks enemies with golden magic orbs. When did you get that? When did you pick up that one, buddy? Well, let's work our way around to... Don't, 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 stop looking at me! I've got to back attack you. Don't you understand? Now run back. Here we go. <laughs> Baiting them works pretty well, doesn't it? Now's our chance. We can do this. I'll handle this. All right, let's craft away. So we got rapid thrust. Attack one impede with you. What arts do we have? Then we have the small golden Sophia art, which we can target. Lush. Marcus, activate. Here we go. I don't know how good that damage will do, considering it's an element I actually haven't used. Hmm. I think about it. Let's team up there. There. All right. Let's keep using crafts then, because we should be able to get these free hit here. And there should be at least... Yeah, these guys should be in a group enough, right? I thought I could hit all three of these. Oh, I'm just out of range because I'm just being pushed back a bit too far. Let's see what Golden Sphere does then. It's pretty damn good against them. Can't complain, you know. My turn. Looks like I'll mostly be able to finish up on these, except for the one in the back. All right. Oh, there. my spear can reach. Go and miss me so I can counter. Go. Would like to go on unscathed after all. I'm glad my attacks can't hit my oh, allies. We did it. You had a zero arts. Oh, did I miss that? Oops. Well, oh, level up, Scott's party. Right. Okay, we can now learn Motivate, or Motivate can now be used. An encouraging shout to rouse allies to battle, with Strength Plus and CP Plus 10 as well. All right! Nice. Aren't I such a team player with my motivation skills? Alright, no items hiding around anywhere. <laughs> he seems kind of imposing. I don't know how to break the ice. Well... Don't treat him as if he's a noble, like he's kind of said. We're all supposed to be on equal standing here. Maybe just speak to him like a normal human. That might work. Give it a try. It's a crazy thought, but give it a try. Rats, thank you for gifting yet another sub. You gifted one earlier and I didn't say anything, so thank you very much. Alright, more fire Sepith. The question is, when will there be a boss? We'll get him. Now's our chance. We can do this. Triple advantage should mean that I can just wail away on these guys nicely and Very then well. attack. It's my turn. With Edward, if that's his name, I my already turn. remember the crate bit now. <laughs> Finish off nicely That's over the there. Power of the eight leaves. Obviously, we'll learn what these eight leaves are in the future. Elliot, not Edward. Got them. I got so hung up on the Ed, the the uh, the Craig bit of it all. My turn. Can you make this guy face the other way somehow, Elliot? Use your powers of persuasion. Making him run back. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Got him. Now's our chance. We can do this. I know eight leaves is probably a sword form. I'm just saying we'll find out about it later. Truly, truly. Go. I boss to that one then. Alright. And we'll get Elliot to finish off you. Seems with the extra physical attack I'm gaining, I do somehow still do good okay, damage slowly to these high defensive foes, so you can just kind of power past them by the look of it. Alright, what's in this chest? Ooh, even more Sepith. I don't mind getting Sepith from chests. 
actually feels like a really worthy thing to get to death. Fire Seppis. Oh, no. Stop. Stop firing your wand. This is quite a long dungeon. Quite a bit of orienteering we have to do. So what pathways do we have? Left seems to be the right way to go, maybe? I know that's where we came from. Uh. Right is the right way to go. Left is where we've come from. This whole tricking them into a range and then chasing after them is a bit too lucrative. You know what I mean? It's a bit too good. Now's our chance. Let's get them. Here we go. Much reason to abuse. There. Very well. So with your arts, I imagine with the golden sphere, I can somehow target to hit four here. No, only three maximum. Let's take out the three at the back then. Arcus, activate. Leave it to me. Go with the Gel Stringer for those four there. That's three down. Right. I would like to get these guys on some more EP heals or something. Something to restore them would be nice. Well, we got a seal over that on that guy. My turn. Let's finish that off. <laughs> How pathetic. He's still got a bit of arrogance to him, though. Alright, let's get around the corner. Look away from me, Mr. Enemy. Oh, thank you. That's good timing. Now's our chance. Let's get him. I'll handle this. By just walking through them slowly with crafts aplenty. Still at 200 CP. The whole get a kill, get CP thing All is right. really good. I think I moved in close Hunter. enough that I can hit both of them with a sack. Oh yeah. I'll handle this. I shall fulfill my duty as a oh, noble. Easy group. Another double kill for some experience up. I feel like I've all of a sudden got a ton of sepif as well. Oh, a treasure chest. You always get to tell me that. <laughs> You're so excited, is Elliot? And an evade one in the chest. Nothing in there. Okay, Mr. Orbans. So we can put one in there. Evade one on top of that. That gives any new arts at the moment? No. Well, oh, you've got two along the line. We'll see how that works out in the future. God, we've already been playing for two hours. Still expecting more and more character development. Good. Give me more. I want to learn more about these people. I don't know if this game is making more with saves like Trails in the Sky, so... <laughs> Let's continue to be paranoid about crashes forever. Ah, right to be paranoid. If this is here, then something's in that final room. What is here to block us from entering these stairs? Uh, hey, are we... Looks like we are. That definitely seems to be the exit. I can see the sunlight streaming in, so I'm guessing we're finally clear. Ugh, this was a complete waste of time. Pointless busy work at best. Considering the school's esteemed founder, I was expecting more of a challenge, but nothing here posed even a modest threat. Did we even fight the same enemies? I feel like I've been stretched to my limits. What was all that business about Class 7 anyway? Good question. We've got people here from different backgrounds, classes, even cultures. Is there some sort of secret agenda with this whole Class 7 thing that we just don't know yet? 
was that? There. The statue? What the heck is that? A gargoyle come to life? What sorcery is this? Stone Guardian Nigglut Gama. Ah! Are monsters like this common in the Empire? Not outside of old wives' tales, they aren't. Ugh. This sink's cutting off our only route to the surface. No choice. We have to fight it. Right. Finally, an opponent worthy of my skill. Hey, Hideos, help us. 